Hello. All right, I've been trying to record this video for um, the past few days now, and every single time it turns out noisy as hell. So I'm hoping this one kind of turn turns out uh, all right. Now, this is a kind of a follow-up video to the one I have posted uh, or uploaded just before this one. Um, the concept that we're going to talk about is called paying it forward. And like always, there are going to be a couple of stories that uh, you know, I want to talk about. Um, this came up, this thought uh, or the reminder to me of the concept came up uh, while I was having a conversation with a friend uh, over a weekend trip uh, a few days back. And uh, whilst I was talking to my friend about something that I managed to do with regards to this concept, um, I wanted to record this video to talk about a backstory which uh, you know, is very pertinent. Um, the concept itself is called Paying It Forward or it's from the book Pay It Forward which uh, I'd read a few years back and uh, incidentally even before I read this book uh, the concept seemed to be around uh, my life uh, very evidently since the time I can remember. I've seen this being done so much that uh, I wonder why it is a concept someone has to even talk about. But here we are talking about it. So um, this goes back uh, to the days of my college when I was uh, studying for my engineering degree. Now this was a time where uh, there were some stressful situations back home and uh, money was tight and there was um, a couple of times at least when um, you know we were struggling to pay my tuition fees and uh, that would mean that uh, I would I, uh, either have had to take a, a break from my uh, degree uh, studies or very uh, much possibly even gave up uh, my degree altogether. But here I am, um, you know, with my engineering degree. So what happened then was uh, whilst we were trying to figure out how to make it work for those fees, um, a few relatives and uh, friends of my parents, my uncles and aunts, uh, they stepped up uh, pretty much uh, like superheroes without making too much noise. And they made it all work. These amounts, these fees that we had to pay, they weren't very measly, uh, they were significant back then anyway. And yet, uh, they seemed to just come in and make it work uh, without uh, talking about it too much. Time went by, I got my degree, and uh, I was studying the interpretation where I could repay the money. Um, and I did um, much of it. Uh, but whilst I was trying to do that, um, I realized that uh, these folks weren't really looking at getting that money back. Um, doesn't mean that the money didn't matter, but uh, it was their way of uh, you know, doing uh, the nice things that had probably happened to them or that they were now capable of doing. And uh, without really directly saying it, they probably wanted me to just take it forward in my own way. And that is when I realized that people who are large-hearted, who are generous, who are uh, able to do significant things for others, um, more often than not, don't need those things back. They're not debts that they're putting out there. They are things that they're putting out there to make the world a better place. So you are better off or um, you should, at least in addition to paying the debt back, be paying it forward in some way and whilst I did not really think of this actively there was a few incidents there were a few incidents that happened uh, in my life which seemed to kind of uh, help me relate to this uh, in retrospect one of those um, is what I was relating to my friend the other day so there was this uh, young kid in my office he was the, um, an office boy who would do odd jobs like cleaning the coffee machine um, you know uh, cleaning the cafeteria tables and whatnot, right? Um, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call him Sam because I don't want to name him. So Sam was this young, bright kid um, who I used to talk to, chat up with sometimes, and I asked him about his education. I realized that he had stopped just short of a milestone, which is 10th grade, where I live. And uh, on asking him as to why he did not continue his education, the obvious answer was... Uh, family situation, financials, and uh, 
the fact that he had to start working early because he got married early and he had a family to take care of, all of that. So I spoke with him quickly and said, you know what, why don't you go and figure out a way of kind of continuing or completing your education to a logical point, taking it to a logical point. And uh, he went, figured out that there were uh, correspondence courses that he could take. And um, he came back saying that there was a certain fee, which um, was uh, on, on, on the higher side for him. But it wasn't a very huge amount, luckily for me, because I was at a uh, place in life where I thought I could afford it um, relatively easily. So I kind of tried to make that money work for him. I gave him that cash and said, go get that degree, that uh, you know, 10th grade certificate. A year later, he came back to me and said that it was done. Uh, he got um, the correspondence. He got registered for the correspondence course. He went through um, you know, the process and got the degree. And um, from there, we moved on to him uh, getting the next uh, logical degree. And then I happened to move away from that workplace. I moved organizations, and uh, frankly, I lost touch with him because um, those weren't the days uh, where uh, cell phones were as common. However, five years later, or give or take, there was a knock on my door, and uh, when I opened the door, there was a pizza delivery guy at the door. I had not ordered pizza. So I was wondering as to, you know, uh, why he was there. And whilst I was racking my brain to figure out uh, whether someone else had ordered the pizza, um, I looked at his face. I was like, Sam, is that you? And he was like, oh, it's you. And we were both uh, stuck in that moment for a second. Um, you know, it, it was a very pleasant surprise. And um, I was like, why are you delivering pizza? Um, I mean, is everything okay? And he's like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. I am doing just fine. This is my um, additional uh, job, uh, second job, if you will. Um, I'm just doing it because I want to make some more money for my family. But um, and there's something I want to tell you. I so wanted to meet you or call you somehow. I just didn't know how to. But here I am, so I'm going to tell you that I completed my bachelor's degree even, and now uh, I am uh, a clerk. I've got a desk job at the same in the same office. <laughs> so there he was. Uh, he moved up um, in many ways in life, and he was doing better for himself. I'm sure that was affecting um, his family in a positive way, and uh, I'm so 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 glad to hear that. And uh, the next thing that happened was he asked me um, as to how he could repay me. He was like, I, I've been wanting to repay you. You helped me get this degree and all of that. And I was like, um, don't even worry about it. Because that was the last thing on my mind. And I was like, so I'll find people like yourself and uh, do something about their uh, life if you can. If you can yeah, help them move up in some way. And I was very clearly, um, although um, unknowingly, doing this because it has been done to me. There are so many nice things that have been done to me day in and day out. And I'm so lucky that the least I can do is pay it forward in some way. It's not always money. It's not always the exact same thing that has been done to you. But if each one of us can do a little bit of, um, you know, uh, uh, a nicety, is that a word, uh, to people around us, do you think the world would be so much of a better place to live in? Um, such a simple concept. We can literally do it as we walk around, uh, even if it's with strangers. And uh, then seeing it being done to us in other ways can be such a beautiful full circle that uh, you know uh, will just make our world so much better. So that was that. Um, slightly longer of a video than I had uh, planned for, but I thought this is very, very important. And I think this is one of the most beautiful concepts I have ever come across and had to share it with you guys. Thank you for listening in. Um, like always, I appreciate your time. And if you think um, you've seen incidents or experienced incidents like uh, these, uh, in any way, uh, to let me know. I'd be really interested in knowing and talking about those. Uh, thanks for your time. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one, folks.